the hit Fox show Family Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I've never seen it. It's on Sundays and that's the Lord's Day. <laughs> but they just taped their 100th episode and they celebrated with an anniversary party and I got to go, so check it out. about a dysfunctional family from Rhode Island, and if there's anybody who knows about a dysfunctional family from Rhode Island, say moi. Like, 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 like. Does your family have any dysfunctional things that they do at the holiday? You know what, um, sadly, I think my family's pretty normal. Okay, this is what we do. We grew up in New England, I'm from Rhode Island, and so we dress up like pilgrims, and we actually chase a live turkey, and we actually, we club the turkey. And then the winner doesn't get put in the shame hut. Okay, I have a show to pitch. It's a, it's about, this is just a random fictional character. It's a girl named Arden. What's the plot? What's the plot? Well, she works by day at, for Fox Television, and by night, okay. she lives in a William, women's shelter. Women's shelters are great. They have uh, those communal showers. They have communal showers. People steal your food there, and they, sometimes they don't know that it's your food. When you mark your name on it, it's your food. Random lover number three. So if you were going to do a voice for him, you know, maybe... Hey, what's up, Art? I just want to say it was totally awesome. Really had a great time with you. Uh, sort of. Then why you um, call me? Well, because I don't, this is a machine, and are you talking to me? Yeah, so, I'm talking to you. Hey, what's up? I didn't know I thought that was a weird outgoing message. Hey, listen, I totally had a blast, but I got a split. P.S. I'm a liar. Suck it. Oh, my God. One of my favorite family games, we would play Chase the Meat at Thanksgiving, and they would just tie, like, a string around a piece of meat, and, like, I'd go to eat it, and then they'd put away. And I'd chase that meat, like, out the door, like, down the street. It was hilarious. This is the snake professor. <laughs> Dr. Freud, who created these drawings? I did. Wait. This is just her kid. <laughs> what do you think of that? As a professional therapist, what would you say? This is I, the character. I run an alcohol <laughs> drug recovery center. Yeah. I'd like to give you my card. I don't need, I don't read. No, yes, I don't know how to read. No. This is a, a fictional character. I made her, which is her arch rival. Yeah, fictional. Uh, Katie Couric. She yes. thinks she's all that. She thinks she's all cute. Hi, I'm Katie Couric. I'm North America's sweetheart. Yeah, but I'm a real bitch. There you go. That's perfect. I'm very excited. I have an animated show that I'd oh, like to pitch you. are pitching to me? I can tell that's airbrush. It's not a photograph, it's actually a drawing. Right. Okay, random lover number one. What happened to my arm? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm kind of struggling with my sexuality right now. It's a little bit awkward, but I might, I think I might. That's, that's awesome. Okay, everybody knows who this is. Hey, Miss Borstein. Sorry, I don't, I don't have time. My publicist is. Nobody's, nobody's over there. I gotta go, it's such a rush. <laughs> TV. What is it? Mad TV. To tell if you were on it. It was a program that you were on. I'm so, I don't have cable. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're darling though. Good luck. Thank you. Well, I think this baby's ready to sell. I know my family would be proud of me if they still talked to me, but uh, I just think that America's proud enough of me. Thank you. <laughs>